and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Huskies and the Bulldogs. We got a couple of all-star teams squaring off. First pitch coming your way next. And now here's a speed threat. Leading outfielder off, Michael Texas, Harris. The center fielder. Michael. And the Harris. pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. And we are underway in Denver. Strike two. No Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Next pitch has popped up. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Batting second, the third baseman, number 13, key Brian Hayes. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. Had him way out front of the slur. So up next, Mike Cameron. Cameron. And first offering is fouled off. And a big swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Welcome back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Stop. Ellie De La Cruz. Shortstop. The pitch. There's a strike. Good eye right there. There's a one to one. Good eye right there. Swings and misses. Two and two. And the right hander deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and fires. Drilled to center. That's way back. And you can't forget it. Home run. That was a moonshot, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. Here's Shohei Otani. And first offering is fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Got him swinging. Here's Jose Ramirez. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Called strike right there. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. In the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Just missed. Chris, when you think of Kyle Schwarber, how about the impact in the playoffs? He's hit some iconic home runs. The one on top of the Wrigley Field scoreboard. It, well, we'll hold that thought as that's the... Back here in Denver, all set for the start of the inning. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's got what we call light tower power. And even when you have a guy like Bryce Harper on your team and you wow him with the home run, that says a whole lot. 
There's the strike and a count two and one. Misses outside and now three and one. The wind and the pitch. And that is cut on and missed. Now three and two. Goes down <laughs> swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now swings through that oh, one. Man. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. I talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Got him looking. And now two gone. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Pitch misses inside. Now one and two. Two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And welcome back. And here is Mickey Mantle. The center fielder. Mickey Mantle. Bayo back to work. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. There's a strike. There's a 1-1. One, one. And another ball. And there's a ball. And the right-hander's 3-1. Late with the swing there. That was straight queso right there. Mantle tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And that's going to be ruled a swing. Here's a speed threat. Chipper Jones. That one misses. 1-0. One and oh. That's inside. The wind to kick the 2-0. And there's a foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fast ball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next pitch is outside. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And Jack Peterson stands in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field. Over to Albies. Double play. What a twin killing to end the. Back here at Coors Field, and the batter will be the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Perdomo in his second season, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Next offering is foul back. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So digging in, Ezekiel Duran. Duran. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Flips it behind his back. Just got him. And he was burning up the baseline. And here's the catcher, number three. First offering, misses the mark.
swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Two down, nobody on. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. And the righty deals. In the air, out towards right center. Mantle in position. Brings it in for the third out. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The first baseman. Bayo back to work. And that's outside. Matt Olson, a guy who grew up in the Atlanta area, went to the same high school that produced Jeff Rancor, and in fact, Jeff's mom was one of Matt Olson's teachers in grade school. And that one is inside. When Olson was traded to the Braves from the Oakland A's, Frank Cora's mom texted Brian Snicker and said, this ball is hammered deep center field. Way back there, on its way, out of here. He'll touch them all, and they add on. It's 2-0. Now, Ellie De La Cruz. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Next one misses, and that is ball one. But you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. De La Cruz checks his swing. Appeal down to third, and no swing, says Joe McDonald. That one fouled off, two and two. Time called. The 2-2 will have to wait just a second. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. That ball has just been voted off the island. He blasts one out to center. His second home run of the game, it's 3-0. So now here's the D.H. Shohei Otani. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's a base hit. Now back second base hit. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Otani gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Oh, one gets a check swing. Appeal to third. Nope, he held back. Next pitch is outside. Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. The pitch. Ball left out. Still only one out here in the inning. Schwarber checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went around. That's ruled the swing. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. At the belt and fires. That one missed. Shohei on the go. And it bangs off the top of the wall. He's in there. Everything came together for him. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly.